memang buat menteri tengah kutan uh, yang berhormat Anthony Lok uh, hadir bersama untuk mengadakan silap abang kerana uh, atas uh, usaha beliau Uh, beliau telah berjaya untuk uh, mendapat sokongan daripada sebuah syarikat daripada Malaysia yang akan derma sebanyak uh, 3 juta ringgit untuk tabung harapan Malaysia dan uh, itu ada syarikat Matrix daripada Malaysia yang uh, di mana uh, Datuk Li ya Datuk Li adalah Uh, pengurus uh, besar syarikat tersebut pengarah eksekutif eh, tentang syarikat ini uh, dan uh, bagi pihak-pihak uh, rajin persekutuan uh, tentu kita ucapkan terima kasih kepada Dato' Mikin Hock dan juga Dato' Matrix atas uh, sumangan ini uh, sehingga sekarang sumangan tabung harapan Malaysia berapa? Lah? Why is that mom? So dia tak terseri Jadi kan nanti saya kita akan dapat itu uh, maklumat terperinci uh, Dan uh, uh, saya ingin juga umumkan bahawa uh, Saya minta Dato' Lee Tien Ho untuk naik ke atas uh, Dato' Lee adalah itu uh, pengarah Managing Director, Group Managing Director Uh, iaitu uh, uh, pengurus pengarah kumpulan untuk syarikat Matrix yang sumbang 3 juta ringgit beliau juga cakap 2 juta ringgit akan disumbangkan kemudian tapi hari ini beliau akan derma 3 juta ringgit dan 2 juta ringgit uh, masa depan masa akan datang ia akan menjadikan jumlah keseluruhannya sebanyak 5 juta ringgit Uh, untuk memastikan ataupun meyakinkan itu orang ramai yang ada soalan tentang pengurusan uh, itu tabung harapan Malaysia pihak kemudian kewangan selain daripada memastikan bahawa semua sumbangan akan digunakan untuk uh, mengurangkan uh, utang kerajaan persekutuan tapi untuk memastikan bahawa pengurusannya adalah teratur selain daripada memenuhi dan mematuhi SOP dalaman uh, pihak kebijakan kewangan uh, kita pun akan uh, mengambil sebuah syarikat perakaunan untuk mengaudit akaun itu dan sebagai satu langkah uh, ka, satu uh, langkah kawalan tambahan untuk memastikan bahawa dan meyakinkan orang ramai bahawa ia akan dijalankan secara teratur dan tidak ada Uh, sebarang uh, masalah akan timbul. Uh, ada apa-apa soalan? Jadi, the audit firm will be appointed after the completion of the tabung or ongoing? It's an ongoing process. It will be ongoing. We'll be appointing the auditor because now the monies are all being Coming in. deposited. We, are, we have not taken out a single cent. Hmm. But we'll ask the, uh, an external auditor uh, to audit and of course to ensure that Of course, to convince that everything is done properly, definitely be done properly. Yeah. But I need to give the assurance. Wh when will you be? I will be informing you uh, later. When will be you? I mean, when when are you appointing them? Uh, we we'll, we'll be appointing them as soon as possible. So, maybe uh, with about six days gone, you have what thirty five million roughly. Uh, I'll I'll give you the figures and details. We're supposed to give you a report by three. So ask them to see whether you can give us the latest figures by one. Uh, but maybe are you happy with the response so far? To be frank, it's not about the uh, amount. It is more about the uh, the willingness of Malaysians uh, to contribute and to show that spirit of togetherness. That shows that there is uh, this patriotic spirit amongst Malaysians that they love the country and they want to do that little bit possible so that they can reduce the uh, federal government's debt. Okay, I think why don't we wait for the prayer? Why don't we wait for the prayer to be passed?
So yes, what was the question? Adi? Could you have some more information about Matrix? Is there a conflict of interest in your transport project? Matrix Concepts is a developer in the Kisimilan. There's no dealing with the federal government. It's basically all the projects are based in Surabhan. Yeah, the developer of Bandar Sri Sinayan. So this is our goodwill. There's no no strings attached. I mean, any companies uh, donate uh, according to their own uh, wishes, and uh, we accept, of course, Abung uh, Harapan Malaysia accept a donation from all walks of life, from companies, from the members of the public. Anybody can contribute. Okay, uh, Natuli, yeah. uh, can you share with us why you actually came forward uh, to contribute to the fund? Yeah, when we actually, uh, Metric Concept is a public listed company in the year of 2013. Uh, Metrics placed a lot of emphasis on uh, uh, corporate social responsibility and when we, we, we came to know that uh, this uh, Tabang, Tabang Harapan uh, Malaysia was set up, immediately I discussed with my board member and we felt that uh, as a corporate, good corporate citizen, we felt that we must take the initiative. There's a Chinese saying that Pao Zhuan we need. So like if it, it's a literal transition, we throw a brick, attract all the jade to come in. You know? So I hope uh, as a, a listed company, we can take the, this initiative, we throw a break with uh, 3 million. We hope uh, 
all other corporation can chip in and help the the new government to 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 lessen the burden of the financial stress of the country. Yeah. But for CSR, five million is a lot of money. Like, what do you hope to get from this? I think because uh, we felt that uh, we, we we can afford it, and then uh, this is the amount that we 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 the, we can afford it, and uh, we contribute to the to to the Tabung Harapan Malaysia. Yeah. Uh, why two million at the later stage? Uh, we are now getting the, our associates, consultants, subcontractor to chip in. So in a a, a few days time, we, we we will take about uh, three three to five days to aggregate the amount. To get the five million, yeah, we actually pledged five million, but today we are from the metric concept, the company, the holding company itself. Today we are coming up with the three million first. The rest we will slowly we compile and then uh, we will we will forward later. This does not re this does not require a shareholders approval. Uh, no, on yeah. YB, uh, do you think that we can get the external auditor uh, to do this audit in goodwill for free because this is also a public service? Oh, thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> uh, is that, is that uh, you're looking into that also? Yes, definitely. Thank you for the suggestion. Yes. 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 I thought sure anyway, it was a very really good idea. So I thought our free is so more good. Uh, wait, wait, yes. Stakas pukul satu petang. Jumlah yang dikutip hari ini satu petang ialah tiga puluh lima perpuluhan tiga juta ringgit. Tiga puluh lima perpuluhan tiga juta ringgit. What is this including the three million? No. This is what has been in the account so far. So it's thirty-five point three million. This one, you want to bank in, I think you will take some one day like this. Okay, all right. Uh, you mentioned that uh, you are going to appoint the audit company, right? But you are going, how you are going to appoint them? You are going to uh, appoint for public or you already have a budget company? I will let you know. Okay, thank you. Why be? Why be? Why be? Can we ask you? Because now you are talking, uh, now there's a suggestion of free lady. <laughs> so, <laughs> How you want to have a public tender for free services? Eh? So why do we? That, that, that is what. Yes, I said we let you know. Lah. But uh, the main thing is that this is actually not a very difficult audit. It's a very simple and straightforward audit. Just make sure that all the money go in, it goes out, it goes out one lump sum to reduce the debt. So it's a very simple audit. So that's why I like the suggestion from Saudara tadi. Bagus, bagus. Saya cakap Saudara lah, Saudara. Saudara tadi itu TV tiga bukan Saudara. Tapi Saudara adalah Saudara. So you make you pull up with that suggestion. Yeah, sorry. Maybe I can we ask you something else? No, later. Can we finish this first? Because I have another statement I want to read out. Okay, right. Okay, anything more on Tabung Harapan Malaysia? Maybe. Uh, so, I, I really agree just now because we, we think that the suggestion made just now that the audit company to, to be able to provide free services is a good idea. So, and I say it's a very straightforward idea. Uh, almost any, I think but we want to have some company like that, that we, of course, uh, in Chicken uh, and I'm sure they can. Uh, Provide these services. Maybe uh, okay. the tax exemption given by those who are donating to this tax deduction. Deduction. Uh, will it uh, won't it result in a loss of income for IRB, where people are supposed to pay corporate tax and also income tax? No, but you forget that. Uh, okay, for example, you get a 25 percent discount. Mm. Okay, that's right. Twenty five percent deduction. You forget that we get seventy five percent, which you wouldn't have got in the first place. So why you always look at the negative side, you never look at the positive side. You understand? Without this tabung, you wouldn't even have gotten that amount. Yes, they get a tax deduction. But without this tabung Harapan Malaysia, you wouldn't have got the 75%. And you get the money now. The 25% deduction is later. So don't forget the interest earned during this period. Alright, any other questions? Uh, the thing is, no, I think we got to look at the debt uh, repayments. Uh. So now the money is with the, with the government. So it's not in the government account. 
So definitely you want to talk 35 billion, uh, when you want to talk about the payments, you're talking about hundreds of millions. So it's still a long way off. But that, that money is available and then when we can get an aggregate amount that is sufficient to make all the payment, I think we'll do it. Then we leave it to the Ministry of Finance officials as well as to the auditor that we are appointing. Okay. Why we, uh, I'm just curious with uh, 35 million over right now and until the moment that you guys want to use it, uh, would it be invested into any fixed assets no. to increase its value? No. The, the Tamu Harapan Malaysia is used <coughs> solely only for reduction of the federal government's debt. You cannot be used for any other purpose. Because when you donate, you only donate to reduce the federal government's debt and not anything else. Because well, I felt that since it's already stuck there for uh, so no, then that is uh, then you are going against the the trust the trust the terms of the trust account. So you have to abide and comply strictly with the terms of the trust account. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? If not, then I want to thank again, Dato Lee Tian Hock and Matrix, and together his director, Dato Anne Logendron. Uh, yes, Sini. Uh, who is here, uh, the group, Devin Megan, a, a director, Ho Kong Sun, yes, who is here, and then uh, also a director, Injit Riza Zain bin Abdul Rashid. Okay, let's give the company and directors a round of applause for their five million million contribution. Uh, we just take a photo of our team. Thank you. Terima kasih kepada semua. Saya ingin uh, membuat satu penyertaan <coughs> mengenai Surya Strategic Energy Resources Senang Berhad. Satu skandal RM9.4 bilion di mana pembayaran sebanyak RM8.3 bilion 
dibuat iaitu 88% daripada nilai bujen berdasarkan timing-timing maustur dan bukannya kerja yang siap walaupun hanya 13% kerja sahaja sudah dilakukan uh, Let me speak in English for the benefit of the international media Surya Strategic Energy Resources Senior Bahad A 9.4 billion ringgit scandal where payment based on timing milestone and not progressive work done resulted in 8.3 billion ringgit being paid or 88% of total project value despite only 30%, 13% of work completion done. Surya Strategic Energy Resources Senior Bahad SSER is a wholly owned Ministry of Finance subsidiary set up set up on 19 of May 2016 with a specific intent to undertake the Mountain Product Pipeline IPP and the Trans Sabah Gas Pipeline TSGP projects. Both projects were approved by the Cabinet on the 27th of July 2016. MPP involved a 600 kilometer Mountain Product Petroleum Pipeline connecting Malacca and Port Dixon to Jitra Kedah costing 2.53 billion ringgit and approximately uh, oh, costing 5 oh, sorry uh, sorry I think there's a mistake there just check that huh? no 4.53 and 2.53 4.53 Yeah, about 2.53 Then you saw 5.35 This is the Yeah, I think you have to put in the Just the bracket So they can add together Just add together Okay So the multi-product pipeline involves a 600km multi-product petroleum pipeline Connecting Malacca to Port Houston to Jitra Kedah With cost a total of 5.35 billion minutes the, T the TSGP, on the other hand, was to build a 662km gas pipeline from Kimani's gas terminal to Sandakan and Tawa, costing approximately 4.06 billion ringgit. Both projects, costing a total of 9.41 billion ringgit, were awarded to China Petroleum Pipeline Bureau (CPBB) on the 1st of November 2016. The agreements were signed by the then Treasurer General Tan Sri Erwan Seriga. Tan Sri Mohammad Erwan Seriga was also the chairman of SSER. Tan Sri Mohammad Erwan has recently resigned on the 23rd of May 2018. SSER successfully secured funding from China Exim Bank, amounting to 85% of the project value on 22nd of March 2017. The balance of the 15% of funds required were to be raised via Sukuk issues. Both the China Exim Bank borrowings and the Sukuk are secured with federal government guarantees. During a briefing provided to Treasury officials on 28 of May 2018, SSER reported that the three year projects had commenced on April 2017. As at the end of March 2018, or exactly a year later, the MPP and TSGP projects had achieved only 14.5% and 11.4% progress completion respectively. The above completion rates have yet to be verified or audited. However, we were shocked to discover that the amounts of 4.71 billion ringgit and 3.54 billion ringgit for both projects had already been drawn down and paid to CPPB. The total sum paid of 8.25 billion ringgit constitutes a staggering 87.7% of the total project value. This is despite an average completion rate of only 13%, with another two years of the contracts to go. We have discovered that the payment schedule for the work contracts are based almost entirely on timeline milestones and not on progressive work completion milestones. Worse, Based on the agreement signed, 85% of the project value will be paid by 1st of March 2018. The above does not include 
two other consultancy agreements signed for the same projects above worth approximately 312 million and 230 million ringgit and another maintenance agreement worth 476 million ringgit awarded to companies from China totaling an additional 1 billion ringgit the contracts were negotiated by the Prime Minister's Department without involving Treasury officials. The Attorney General's Chambers have also confirmed that these contracts were signed despite numerous unanswered questions and red flags raised. I have been informed by Treasury officials that SSER is an offshoot of the same people behind SRC International, a former subsidiary of 1MDB. SRC is an acronym for Strategic Resources Corporation, a name that is similar to SSER. The contracts for SSER were also signed at the same time as the contracts for the East Coast Rail Link project by Tan Sri Mohamad Erwan Sriga and financed, financed by the China Exim Bank. It should be noted that the President of SSER is Dr. Mohamad Ashar bin Osman Khairuddin, who is also a member of the company's Board of Directors. Dr. Muhammad Ashar is also a director of Putrajaya Perdana Sriram Bahad, a company linked directly with Joro. Based on the highly suspicious transactions at work, I have instructed my officers to file a report with the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission last week. The Prime Minister to Dr. Mahathir Muhammad has also been briefed on the scandal. In addition, the Ministry of Finance has a sole shareholder of SSER will be taking steps to take control of the company pending investigations. The Board of Directors and, the, and Tan Sri Muhammad Erwan Sriga, in particular, must answer as to why SSER signed such a lopsided contract that clearly jeopardizes the interests of the Malaysian people and government. In addition, we will welcome the former Finance and Prime Minister, Dr. Sri Najib Tun Razak who has been active on Facebook recently to explain how he could possibly approve the above transactions. Finally, if necessary, we will seek the assistance of the Chinese government to help trace the flow of funds in China in order to investigate the possibility of money laundering. These statements are made in Basel Malaysia also. Okay, would I say, ada apa apa soalan? Any questions? Yes. Why me? Um, you said that uh, the drawdown uh, was about 87%. Okay, and who approved the drawdowns? Were there any consultants involved? So the drawdowns were approved finally, even they were consultants involved, they were finally approved by the federal government of the day. So because this is based on the contractual agreements that they were signed. And uh, as, as stated in the first paragraph of my statement, it was approved by Cabinet on the 7 of July 2016. But when, of course, the drawdowns were approved based on Tamil milestone, definitely there must be people who signed these contracts. So, uh, so these are now being handed over to MACC for investigations. I cannot add more. Can we assume that it was signed by the former... Uh, I cannot add more. But of course, we would be pleased to get more information from the former Finance Minister and former Prime Minister as to why 8.3 billion ringgit has been paid or which is equivalent to 88% of the total project value even though only 13% of the work had been completed. This is one of the problems that we face. Contracts of this nature, high, value, high cost projects of this nature that where money is spent but work has not, commercial work has not been completed. But maybe as the agreement, I mean, is uh, stating that the money should be paid only based on time uh, milestone? Well, uh, that would Same. appear to be, nature, to be the nature of the contract. Maybe will you be reviewing all these contracts uh, yourself? How to review when you have already paid 88% yeah. of the project? So now you are looking at how we can ensure that the project is completed. Well, we, uh, did you discover this uh, based on the secret files that you got access to? This is some of the some of the so-called hidden files or red files. Would, would the government have to incur additional cost to complete the project? Now we are looking at the of course the entire contract, but you must bear in mind we have paid eighty-eight percent. There's only twelve percent left. 
Can you of course tell the contractor, please make sure that you speed up the construction of your project so that it comes close to the 88% that we prepared just to fade up. But I think our room to maneuver, our room to find a better deal for the country is quite limited. Maybe, so, maybe, maybe you will continue with the project and pay it up and ensure that the work is No, I think let this matter be investigated first. But you want to talk about continuing the project for us? We have paid 88%. It is up to the contractor to make up the difference when they have only completed 30%. Um, will you be calling Tan Sri to find out more? We will leave it to the uh, investigative authorities. This, in this case, will be the MACC as well as, of course, uh, other relevant authorities. As, as I said, that, as, as, as I said just now, that as far as the federal government is concerned, these are one of the problems that add on to our debts. Because when you talk about uh, these uh, payments, you must remember that these payments are already made. And these are actually obtained from loans, which you will then have to repay Sir, in installments in the future. Be, how many more files are there in your that red file? We hope, you no, know, we have actually gone through many of these files, but we hope there are no more nasty surprises. Are there any more? Uh, we hope that there will be no more nasty surprises. Would you describe this as one Sir, of the biggest? Yeah. Sorry? Why be? Would you describe no, this as one it, of the biggest? No, it's not one of the biggest. The biggest at the moment yeah, of course, is still one, one MDB. MDB. Yeah, like one this. MDB. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sir, uh, Bloom Dine said that in his meeting with the Chinese ambassador, a lot of the contracts in China are tainted. Mm. Is this one of them? Are there many more contracts in China? Will you be seeking uh, diplomatic channels in resolving <coughs> this or talking directly to the Chinese government, sir? Well, uh, I have been in regular contact with Tun Tain. So, as I said earlier, many of these contracts uh, involving Chinese government where of course we are talking about being reviewed will be handled by the Prime Minister himself. Uh, but we are talking about this contract where I think our room for review is quite limited. When they have already paid 88% of the total project value and only 13% of the work has been done. So the problem of course lies with the local people here the local treasury officer, uh, uh, the local uh, treasury officials, and the leaders who approve and sign, not only the contract but also the payments. Maybe uh, the work still ongoing on the ground. So the project is still going to continue until it finishes. No, you don't seem to understand the situation because I've explained uh, many times. We have paid eighty-eight percent. I and then they've only done thirteen percent. Are you going to ask them to stop work? Huh? It doesn't make sense, isn't it? I hope you understand. Because you're keep on repeating to ask me this question. When you don't realize that we have paid 88%, they have done 30%, we want them to do as much as they can. The problem is what if they what if they stop work on their own? I think this is not in our interest. Okay. Has, the project been hiked up? Has the cost been hiked up in any way? Have you all looked into that? Uh, I think that is of course one aspect. So we feel that the, the cost is uh, that's that's something that can be reviewed. Lah. But as I said, now you can talk about the cost with high up, you can talk about other related issues, but money has been paid. Let us not miss the woods from the trees. You are talking about other peripheral issues. The main issue is this 8.3 billion ringgit has been paid. 88% of the project value, whereas only 13% of the work has been done. Can we not focus on this anomaly, this gross disparity? Itulah perkara pokok ni. You, you suspect okay. that this money, this money trail that you mentioned just now with people linked with SRC yes. and Jolo, you suspect that this could be a could strong be a similar... suspicious. Okay. It is all part of the one MDB scam. And it looks quite similar to the terms of agreement with ECRL, whereby there's a huge drawdown. Uh, can we not talk about okay. ECRL? Can we not focus okay. on this? But right. the main I think contract... let's not try to... Okay. Is the main let's contract... focus on this. Okay. Is the main uh, contractor contract. also from China? Um, yes, of course. But I think uh, uh, it is important again, uh, why would the human sign? or agreed to be signed in the first place by 
yeah. Malaysian government leaders and officials. Why well, just now you said suspicious? So has the established has the link been established or is it still? If the link is not established, I would not have said that is highly suspicious. And I even mentioned Jolo's name in my statement. Okay. Alright, I think it's quite clearly explained in my statement. Yes. Yeah. 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 我我看简单的是，这间公司是一个九十四亿的一个新的丑闻，因为它是呃根据时间来还钱，不是根据你的工程做到几多呃八仙或者是几多部分完成，所以平常我们的合同说，如果你做了十八仙，我们就拿到零到十八仙的那个呃那个呃呃赔偿。可是这次这这这个项目是非常特别，虽然已经做只是做到十三八千，但是已经获得获得八十八千的项目的价格的赔偿，所以主要是因为整个合同是根据时间来跑，不是根据你你完成的工程几多八千来跑，所以是否是对国家有利？我看这个是有目共睹了，当然是大家也知道是对国家不利的。所以主要是因为这个有牵涉到玩 N D V 丑闻，我们说这个是非常呃受质疑，所以我们已经交给反贪委员会来调查，采取行动。谢谢。Can you speak in、uh, for the benefit of the yeah? So can you speak in yeah? Uh, why why do you think that it is linked with one、uh, M D V scandal? What do you mean? We have documents to prove that. I mentioned the names. Okay. Yeah. Don't, I, I don't think I know. I don't think. I'm not in my head. I'm not in my head. I'm 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 in my head. Let's not let let let's be professional about it, and those two as probably is not very appropriate. So what I want to say is that if we can get further explanation from the prime, former prime minister and finance minister, that would be helpful. Are there any such similar contracts? Many maybe not necessarily with、uh, involving Chinese contractors, but involving <coughs> contractors from other countries. Okay. Maybe. So、at the moment, we don't intend to do so. That's what we. That's why we are handing over this、uh, matter for investigation by MECC.、Uh, of course, you look according to the contract. There are further payments we make, but I'm sure the contractor will understand. We have already done thirty percent. You want to ask some more? I think it's very hard to justify. Sir, Irwan Sergar, the former secretary. Muhammad Irwan Sergar. Yeah. He、uh, apparently he did a lot of asset stripping and、uh, selling a lot of M O M O assets.、Um, are there some things that you're investigating on that? No, definitely we're investigating. But I think what what he has done, of course, is something he has to explain, and also whether he has got the necessary authorization. Okay. Let me do. Yeah. Please. Uh, basically, what your ministry wants to do is that. We want to see whether there's any elements of money laundering in this matter. Of course, we are looking at all aspects, including money laundering. Okay, sila. Tapi bila kemudian nak panggil atau pergi naji bazar untuk bagi keterangan tentang. Bukan kita tidak bicara untuk berikan arahan. Tapi sekiranya beliau sedia untuk itu sama dia boleh beritahu sama ada ada lagi kontrak sedemikian. Dan sekarang kita telah hantarkan kepada SPRM. So. Badan yang berkuasa untuk meminta sesiapa datang untuk memberikan keterangan adalah SJM. Yang kita boleh minta ialah memberikan kerjasama kalau ada maklumat tambahan. 
Dan kita hanya boleh arahkan sekiranya dia adalah seorang pekerja di bawah MOF Macam One NDB dimiliki oleh MOF Kita boleh panggil pekerja mereka untuk datang berikan penjelasan Terus sebab hari itu kita panggil Arun Kandar datang, dia kena datang Kerana dia dibayar oleh MOF Tapi dia bekas Menteri Kewangan Siapa? Uh, Arun Kandar bukan? No, no, Najib Razak tapi dia bekas Menteri Kewangan dia sekarang bukan dibayar oleh MOF So kita hanya boleh harap dia boleh berikan, boleh berikan kerja sama Dan di arah untuk hadir ialah kuasa terletak di bawah itu badan pengembang kuasa MACC So kita pun kena ikut kedaulatan undang-undang Let's follow new process Maybe, maybe you can ask a bit on the supplementary bill Later, I think I want to finish this okay. question as well. Okay. Yes. You mentioned about these two other consultancy agreements signed for yes. the project. Okay, this is for what? Any idea what was this for? For the same projects. For the, and what, what this is the consultancy agreement that you asked me just now. Okay. This is, your, this is the answer to your question. Oh. Sir, okay. Are consultancy is connected to Cholo, sir? Uh, I just want to leave it as this agreement. Okay. Are there okay. these consultancies that Signed. Were they local companies or foreign companies? Oh, yeah, I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, because uh, these are, uh, uh, I mean, it's already stated there, awarded to companies from China. Uh, oh, okay, sorry. Can you please read the statement? Because I think we are going back again, unless you want me to read my statement again no, one more time. <laughs> so, so I think the, I've uh, been here for almost an hour, so. If there are no questions, can I move past from this topic? Because yeah. if you can print what is stated here, you already really got enough yeah. to write. Okay? So yes, a final question uh, from our good friend here. Uh, your supplementary in the mini budget that you are planning to table in the government parliament session, how much of allocation are you looking for the government? And at the same time, how many ministries are in urgent need of funds? You know how, how I'm going to answer the question, isn't it? I know, but I just like So, to definitely you have to wait until we present the supplementary bill. How can I tell you now? I, I tell you now without telling the MPs, the MPs will come after my head. They will have the first right to look at the bill. So, I think let us give respect to the MPs who are elected because they are the ones going to debate and approve the supplementary bill. I'm sure you know how many ministries are in need of... Uh, no, even no, I know, but we have to wait for an announcement by the Prime Minister of the uh, the rest of the cabinet. So why don't you just be a bit patient? Let the Prime Minister announce it, so then we can know how many ministries there are. So I'm not the Prime Minister. I have no authority to decide on this question. Maybe it has already. Okay, uh, the ringgit is now it's almost reaching four. Is there any chance for it to be packed? Be packed. You nak buat tambatan? Uh, you nak buat cara nak tambatan ringgit lah? No, just ask me your Jangan lah, jangan lah tanya soalan <laughs> macam ni Tidak ada cara nak sedemikian okay. Wavy, uh, have the government finalised Tan Sri Irwan Sregas replacement in Treasury? Uh, we will inform you uh, when the appointments are there Okay? Alright? Wavy, last question lagi, last question No lah, cukup cukup lah dia Wavy, any plans for the 106 tower? Uh, you own 51%, so is there talks of letting go of the, the stake or maybe buying off? Saudara, hari ini punya isu sebenarnya. Oh, Biar so kita so jawab okay. isu yeah, ini pada masa lain. Lah, lah, lah. Ini satu isu besar juga. Okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kita yeah. satu persatu lah. Lain like kali, like. saya rasa kita jodoh pasti ada jodohnya. <laughs> Ah, uh, ada jodoh untuk temu lah, ha, untuk jumpa okay. bukan lain-lain, jangan ingat lain-lain lah. So uh, kita tu kita boleh berikan penjelasan kemudian. Jodoh ke jodoh ni? Ha? Okay. So itu saja terima kasih bos semua. Okay, terima kasih saudara. Thank you. You know ah, uh, if I can just say ah. Uh, the, uh, the previous finance minister doesn't answer all your questions at this one. So uh, please, please also uh, bagi peluang sikit. Terima kasih. Thank you. Raya, raya kemekan juga. I thought raya kemekan.